Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Ayyul Ahbab It's imperative and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and you For the many sins that we commit And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of those Who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Ya ayyul adhina amanu wa taqallaha wa kulu qawlan sadeeda يُصْلِحْ لَكُمْ مَعْمَالَكُمْ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبُكُمْ وَمَنْ يُتْعِ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولُهُ فَقَدْ فَاسَ فَوْزًا عَظِيمًا Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an O you who believe يَا يَلِدِينَ آمَنُوا اِتَّقُوا اللَّهِ Fear Allah وَقُولُوا قَوْلٍ سَدِيدًا And say truthful speech وَقُولُوا قَوْلٍ سَدِيدًا يُصْلِحْ لَكُمْ مَعْمَالَكُمْ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make your affairs, will rectify your affairs, your, your deeds. Your good deeds. Make your deeds good. And he will forgive you of your sins. And whoever follows Allah and his messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam, will receive the guaranteed full success. So ayul ahbab, we have to be cautious about our tongues. And we must be very, very careful about speaking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without knowledge. And may Allah forgive us for any times in our lives that we've ever spoken about Him subhanahu wa ta'ala without the right to do so. About His deen. About what's halal and what's haram. Without the right to do so. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. O oh Allah, forgive us and bless us with ilm nafi rizkin tayyibu amnam mutaqabbilin. Ayyul ahbab, listen to this ayat al karima from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where he says to Baraka wa Ta'ala, وَلَا تَقُولُوا لِمَا تَصِفُوا أَلْسِنَتُكُمَ الْكَذِبَ هَذَا حَلَالٌ وَهَذَا حَرَامٌ لِيَفْتُرُوا عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبِ إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَفْتُرُونَ عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبَ لَا يُفْلِحُونَ Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says in Surah Al-Nahl, He Tabarak wa Ta'ala says, And do not say, uh, on, on your tongues lie, do not lie upon your tongues it's by saying this is lawful and that is unlawful to then to speak about Allah with lies to lie about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and verily those who lie about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with kedhib they will not have success. La yuflu'un. Ayyul Ahbab, that ayat, shows us the importance of speaking with knowledge of the religion. And that's why it's imperative for all of those people who are striving to do some da'wah, to call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to speak the truth. And as Muslims in general were addressed, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the first ayat we mentioned, Ya ayyuladheena amanu, ittaqullaha. O you who believe, so if you're a believer, you're addressed with this ayat. O you believe, fear Allah. And fear in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is by following His commandments and avoiding His prohibitions. Fear Allah and say truthful speech. So be truthful, ayyul ahbab. And when it comes to speaking about the religion, if you're asked a question that you don't know, it's better to say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. We'll ask the ulama about this. But to rush and to say something is haram or something is halal, and you don't have a precedence from the Quran or the Sunnah of the Prophet, nor do you have the ability, the ability, the fiqh, the understanding of the religion to be able to derive afkam or to be able to bring the the goal of the, the, the statement or the opinion of the consensus of the ulama or something, a statement from Ahla, ahla Ilm, Men Sabaka Bihada Qol, who, who preceded you in that statement, then it's better to keep silent. That way you safeguard your religion and you safeguard your honor by not speaking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without knowledge and speaking about his deen without knowledge. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, the one who does so, la yuflihun. They are not successful. So ayyul ahbab, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love you 
And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive you. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be cautious with our tongues. And may Allah forgive us for the many, many sins we've committed with our tongues. And bless us all with ilm nafi, ruskan tayyibu, amalan mutaqabbilan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.